This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. Now, most of you will remember back in March of last year when Deontay Wilder uttered those infamous words, Eddie Hearn is milking the cash cow with Anthony Joshua. Milk and Annabelle, Milk and Annabelle. And kept coming out with so many different things saying how Eddie Hearn is the white slave master to Anthony Joshua being totally racist and turning all of this kind of thing into a racial thing. Unnecessary, unneeded. But he started all of this. And of course, a lot of his fan base who are, let's be real, very, very weak-minded zombie-like um, were jumping all on board with this. Um, but the thing is, is that they're kind of acting like Wilder is some kind of God, like he's some kind of Messiah, like he's the second coming of Jesus Christ. Well, Deontay Wilder is not the Messiah. He's a very naughty boy. We know this one, okay? Now, what goes around comes around. Ever since the press conference with Wilder and Brazil, after Deontay Wilder turned down $120 million for three fights on DAZN. Three fights, $120 million. Bearing in mind, his highest ever payday was was a minimum four million up to around about ten million. Okay, and that's when he fought Tyson Fury. Of course, Tyson Fury is a name. Tyson Fury is the one who sold that fight. Okay, for the first time in Wilder's career, he was actually on pay per view. Why? Because Tyson Fury was in the other corner. We know that, and without it, he's not pay per view. And again, we've seen that when Wilder announced his fight with Dominic Brazil, and it would be on regular old Showtime. Not pay-per-view, not even on Fox Sports, not even there. We're, we're guaranteed more viewers, okay? And as I said, what goes around comes around because this whole thing was very, very suspect. And I started to raise my eyes on quite a few occasions. Cast your minds back to when Deontay Wilder won the WBC heavyweight title on his 33rd fight. What did Shirley Finkel say? Deontay Wilder is still a baby. He's not ready, he's still a prospect. So this is what Shelly Finkel said. Shelly Finkel is Deontay Wilder's manager back then and to this day, still his manager, right? And that showed in itself that Shelly Finkel had zero confidence in Wilder after 33 fights. Who the hell is a prospect on 33 fights, right? Who? Nobody is. It's ridiculous. And of course, Wilder hasn't improved since the amateur days to now. He's technically awful. And so many pro fighters are saying it. So many people who have no horse to pick in this whole Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder race are saying that Wilder is a technically awful, awful fighter, including many of his own countrymen. But not just the fact that he said that he wasn't ready, even though Finkel not only managed Deontay Wilder, but also managed Vladimir Klitschko, the other unified champion. So them two come together would have been undisputed at the time. Okay? But of course, Wilder didn't have any fans then. See, I knew about Wilder, but these hardcore fanatical fans of Wilder now, they're only there because of Joshua. Why? Because Joshua's a big name. They want to kind of jump in bed with it, but what they don't want is a Brit to rule the heavyweight division. They want an American. Unfortunately, Wilder at the minute is the best that you've got. And yes, I do feel sorry for you because America has produced great, fantastic legends over the years. And this is what you've produced off the conveyor belt. It's terrible, isn't it? But Shelly Finkel proved on quite a few occasions and Wilder proved on, on a few occasions that Wilder is not in control of his own career. In fact, Shelly Finkel quite clearly is. Of course, we don't know this for a fact. We can only look at certain things and go, well, clearly. Okay, as an opinion, yes. It looks like Shelly Finkel is in control or Al Heyman is in control. Which one is it? Don't know. Is the white man milking the black man or is the black man milking the black man? Is there a Django effect going on here? Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? But the thing is, is that not only did Shelley Finkel say that when Wilder won the belt, hence the reason why his resume is complete trash up until that point, and it's continued, his level of opposition just hasn't really improved. I mean, to this day, he hasn't beaten anybody of any great note. In fact, Tyson Fury got off the sofa after two and a half years, come back for a taxi driver, an ice cream van driver, got off the sofa and went in there to Wilder's own country and beat him. And needed the judges to screw him on points. How obvious is that? But of course, his fanatical fans still won't get it. They still don't understand this. Even Wilder says himself, his dream is to be pregnant. His own words, he wants to be pregnant. These people are fully on board with that. Even though previously, the two faces of it, they were having a go at Adrian Broner for pretending to kiss Tank Davis. 
having a go at Oscar de la Hoya for wearing fishnets to some um, fancy dress party or whatever it was. But yet Wilder, who goes one step further and says that, um, you know, he wants some jizz inside him and wants to be pregnant. Come on now. Um, so what does Jay Finkel say in this one and Deontay Wilder? Well, it's for the fans. That's why we're doing this fight with Don't Brazil. It's why we turned down $120 million for a fight with Don't Brazil, who we have to fight anyway. That's the reason why, why he's going to be fighting next. And then back-to-back -back fights with Anthony Joshua. So $120 million. You cannot say that Joshua is not ready for Wilder. You cannot say that Joshua is ducking Wilder. This is no longer an argument, as I told you guys from day one. And now suddenly, so many of Wilder's fans, well, actually, now they're kind of ex-fans now, all kind of sat on the fence with it, and saying, actually, you know what, Sport because you were right. I was criticising you. I thought that too, um, you were just a hater. But you're right. We, we see this now. Wilder's a fraud. Okay, so not only did he turn down $20 million to fight Donald Brazil, to go fight on Showtime, regular Showtime, by the way, for probably, what, $2, 3000000 million dollars. They come up with the whole narrative while well, we're doing this for the fans. As I told you, that's exactly what he's going to say. Do it for the fans. He's not doing, he's not doing it for the fans. He's doing it because he has no damn choice. Because if you, if you went on pay-per-view, it's going to flop. It's going to flop harder than an 80-year-old impotent guy. That's how bad it's going to flop. That's why it's not on pay-per-view. Not only that, they've cost Dominic Brazil potentially six million due to the thirty percent that uh, he would get as a mandatory as well. So they've managed to cost Dominic Brazil that. In in fact, maybe you could probably argue Eddie Hearn kind of dropped the ball. He should have signed up Dominic Brazil, shouldn't he? And then took it to Persby and then forced Wilder over to the zone for that fight. But anyway. Team Wilder and Shelley Finkel didn't even try to negotiate with the zone when being offered 120 million. Didn't even try to negotiate. That's how much they didn't want the fight. It was all about a bit of leverage towards Showtime, or it was about, well, if we pretend that we're interested and then we're going to turn it down and then, and then you know what, we know that a lot of our fans are so brain dead that they're actually going to believe anything that we say. And Shelley Finkel said, well, one of the reasons that we turned it down is because they wouldn't tell us how much Anthony Josh was getting. Who gives a damn? You're getting 40 million a damn fight at a minimum and a guaranteed rematch. So you're getting 80 million dollars for two fights with Anthony Joshua. Who cares if Anthony Joshua was getting 5 million or 150 million? Who cares? Look what you're getting. Look what you're getting with not fighting him. Then Shirley Finkel says that, well, we didn't know what Anthony Joshua was getting. They wouldn't tell us. Who gives a damn? Who gives a damn? When you offered Anthony Joshua this fake 50 million, and it was fake, Frank Warren, your own friend, Shirley Finkel, said this. The money was coming from BT Sport, a platform that Joshua cannot fight on, and don't pretend you didn't know that. So the offer of 50 million was fake. So Joshua turned down 50 million, but yet you just turned down a minimum 80 million. Would have potentially been more had you have, uh, defeated him. You'd have got more in the rematch. Shay Finkel said, well, you know, this is a pretty easy fight. Deontay Wilder will knock him out and we want million seeing it. Well, okay, million seeing it. Okay, so Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua on DAZN at $20 is more likely to attract a hell of a lot of people than paying on Showtime prices of $85, correct? So you want millions of people. No, what you're saying is you want millions and millions in your bank account. You're milking Deontay Wilder. That's what you're doing. To top it off, when the reporters were asking Wilder at the press conference, how about, um, uh, you know, you give us um, your side, what's your reason? Shirley Finkel jumped in front of Deontay Wilder, shut Deontay Wilder down and said, let me answer this one. And Deontay Wilder stood there like a sad puppy in the background, just like muttering his lips. Didn't say anything. Wouldn't dare breathe over Shirley Finkel. Wouldn't dare breathe it. And you would think that with all the kind of like the corner of Wilder's fans, I'm not talking about all his fans, of course not. You know who it is I'm talking about, the fanatical ones who just do anything for some super chats, right? And if you're stupid enough to pay them, crack on, right? You would think that they who bring up racism on any little subject, any tiny little thing, you could probably watch Donald Duck and then they'll call you a racist because you're not watching Daffy Duck. This is what these people do. So you would think that they would spot this, but they don't want to spot this. Are you allowing on your own front doorstep a guy that you like, a guy that you follow, to be trapped this way and not say one damn word. I'll be waiting for you guys to say it. This is why I've waited four or five days now to see if anybody's actually going to mention it. But you didn't. You're gutless. You're two-faced. 
You are allowing the things that you are so dead set against to happen on your own front doorstep with Wilder. Shay Finkel shut him down. Unbelievable. Not only that, before all this, ESPN offered Deontay Wilder a multi-fight deal worth millions. Shelly Finkel's own words, look on the screen right now. We will not allow him to cross over to ESPN. I don't have it in front of me right now, but you can, you can pretty much get, get the gist of it. We will not allow our fighter to go to them. In other words, he's telling Wilder, you ain't going nowhere. So what makes you think that he's not telling Wilder you're not signing with his own for 120 million? So he's already told Wilder, you ain't going to ESPN. He's already told Wilder, you're not allowed to have a fight with Vladimir Klitschko when he won the title. So what makes you think that Wilder made this decision on his own? Of course he didn't. Do not be surprised, and I wouldn't be surprised, if behind closed doors, Shelly Finkel called Deontay Toby behind closed doors, I swear. See? Ordinarily, I wouldn't say anything, but because you decided to go with the whole racism thing towards Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua, what goes around comes around. Yours was stupidity. This one is pretty blatant. Shady Finkel speaks for you. He's got his hand up your backside, moving your mouth around. Wilder was petrified, literally petrified of Shady Finkel. You can see him stand, like, stood there, this big giant of a man, stood there, shut completely down by this little guy who looks like half alien, half feet, it's half foreskin. Half, half, yeah, yeah. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. Unbelievable. Shelly Finkel has talked your guy out of 120 million by saying, well, in a little while, this fight will be so much bigger. We can build it, we can build it, we can build it and put it on Showtime and make so much money. Well, when Eddie Hearn originally said, well, this fight should be built, you're going, no, 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 see, Anthony Joshua, he's afraid, da, da, da. But now you're saying the same thing. So what's the difference? The difference is, you never wanted to fight. When you said, okay, I accept 15 million, you didn't sign the contract, so you didn't accept it. So you can't even use that one. We accepted 15 million to go fight. Well, you didn't accept it, did you? You verbally said it, but when, it, when you get the contract, you didn't. We don't know what the date of venue is. End of October, beginning of November. It's one of two weekends. Does it really matter? And it'll be at the Principality Stadium in Cardiff, Wales. Yeah, but we wanted Wembley. We want Wembley for September. Well, you can't because you're, again, another one of your bosses, Stephen Espinosa at Showtime said, we ain't putting on pay-per-view in September, the week after Golovkin and Triple G, the rematch. We ain't doing that. So this is why the Millennium Stadium was the only option. Because you couldn't have the fight in September. Again, blame your guy, Stephen Espinosa. When are you guys actually going to stand up for what you believe in? If you really ride with Deontay Wilder, as in ride with him, not want to ride him until you are severely sore, why don't you stand up for this man? Why don't you be a man and practice what you preach? You preach all this kind of thing, saying how you're about this life. You're not about this life. You're not. You're just not. And I know you don't want to hear any of this. Of course not. Because you'd rather just brush it all under the carpet, pretend it's not happening. When every man, any kind of woman, any child out there who has any kind of common sense can look at this whole situation and see exactly who is ducking who and who is in control of who, it's very blatant. It's painfully obvious. As I said, you may not want to hear it, but it doesn't mean it ain't true. Deontay Toby Wilder. This should be your name from going forward. It, it has to be. Or Al Django Heyman. You are, you, you are being controlled. He says, I'm in control of my own career. No, no, no. What you're saying is these people are making you kind of like think that you are, but you're not. No wonder they based the, um, the character Forrest Gump from Alabama. No disrespect from people from Alabama. I've seen pictures and um, images now of uh, Alabama. It looks beautiful. And so do many of the people there, by the way. But it seems that Shelley Fink was quite happy to keep the tradition going. You get what I'm saying? Because Wilder is clearly... Not the sharpest tool in the drawer. Quite clearly. Finkel could be sat there. Obviously, we don't know this, but Finkel could be um, like a sat there saying, damn, man, we've actually got a legitimate Forrest Gump. Can you believe it? 
And we get to keep tradition going. And his fans, his own race baiting fans, they're not going to say a damn word. Can you believe our luck, Al? Can you believe it? You've all been had. You've been had. Any kind of honest human being will come out and say, yeah, man, this is suspect. But are his fans saying it's suspect? I know many have crossed over now. Welcome to the light children. I know many have, but many are quite happy to just stay there in the dark and pretend they're not seeing anything. It's like seeing a woman beaten on the street by, by her partner or her husband or whatever and walking by pretending not to see it. This is what's going on. Stick up for your man. How obvious is it? He has allowed your man to, to turn down $120 million. $120 million plus undisputed. And you are accepting this. When, when you guys for the longest time were always saying what? What were you saying? All we want is the best versus the best. All we want is undisputed. We don't care about people's money. Now you guys are making up figures. You're pulling figures out of the air. Well, this is a $200 million fight. It's a $300 million fight. It's a $500 million fight. Well, only six months ago, you were saying it's between 50 and 100. Make up your mind. Disown Eddie Hearn, Joshua could offer Jontae Wilder 99% of the purse. But why is, why is Anthony Joshua only getting 1%? Why is he getting 1%? What's he done to deserve 1%? This is what you people are like. There's no winning with you guys. This is why I say, you need to stay away from these people. It's quite blatantly obvious what's going on here. And don't say it ain't, because it's painfully obvious. Who's in control of whose career? And it ain't Wilder. It ain't Wilder. It just isn't. Shady Finkel has got Wilder out the back there washing his car. Doing his dishes. Yeah, of course, we've all seen the pictures of Wilder and his family sat there by the pool, all looking nice. Yeah, of course, Shady Finkel went to the toilet after Deontay Wilder was cleaning the pool and said, come on, babe, let's take a picture real quick. Let's pretend we're on holiday. That's Shady Finkel's pool. Wilder's been cleaning the damn thing. If you guys are about that life, you guys need to make a stand for your guy. You guys need to speak the truth on what's going on. You need to at least question it. You've been even question it. Why? You don't want to upset Wilder, do you? No, you don't. Because you want Wilder on your channel, I know. Have a little interview with him, I know. Yeah, I know. Anthony Joshua ain't coming on my channel either. Yeah, I know. I know that. All right. Don't rub it in. But, but let's be real. Wilder would chat to anyone. You need 100 subs. He'll chat with you, no problem. Which is a good thing. Of course, he's a people person. But you ask him... One kind of question that he's uh, uh, erring about, as a lot of his, um, his uh, fan channels do when they talk, as in their mouth is moving, but the brain isn't engaged yet, and they're uh, 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 that's what they do. We ride with Deontay Wilder, do you? Don't you mean you want to ride Deontay Wilder? Don't you mean you want to be the one to get him pregnant, to give him his, um, his dream, his wish? Isn't that what you mean? And the thing is, what's unfortunate about this I always considered American people to be very, very intelligent. And I know that there's, what, a few rednecks kind of thing, but I, I didn't think that there were so many who we'll keep on watching these channels and buy into it and not see for yourself. I will put in the description box plenty of sources. Go watch all the interviews. Go, go read the articles. Go have a look. Look for yourself. If I'm wrong, let me know I'm wrong. But don't brush under the carpet. Don't do it. All right? Anyway, that's my thoughts. You drop me yours. Click the thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.